I want to come here and share some things I purchased from Target today for my classroom this year. Um, this is my third year going into um, this school year, 2019 through, to, through 2020. Um, I am a third grade teacher. Last year I taught third and fourth grade um, ELA and pre, prior to that I taught fourth grade ELA. But this year I will be third grade self-contained. All right, so it's a little background on me. So the first thing I purchased from Target is this storage unit. I'm gonna see if it can show you guys because this right here. All right, so first thing I purchased, um, this is good to have a clear storage bin to throw all your stuff in. Oh. So, now I'm having a hard time getting it out. Everything else. There we go. All right, so I purchased some things from Amazon as well and Dollar Tree, but I think it's going to be too big, so I'm going to have to split this video up. All right, so the first thing I bought, before I go to there, me and Target, we... I've been watching Instagram, so I've seen all the things that are available at Target, but not any Target in my area, right? So I saw them remove the 4th of July stuff, and I asked I asked the assistant manager, um, so when are you guys going to put your back-to-school stuff out um, in the dollar area? Bullseye Playground, I think it's called. And um, she was like, well... We'll put out this week. Um, it'll probably be available Thursday. So in my head, I said, okay, I'm going to go back on Wednesday. This was Monday now, right? I'm going to go back on Wednesday. I gave it some time. But something told me, like, you should go back tomorrow. And I did. And they had everything set up. And I'd have been so mad if uh, all the good stuff was gone. So let's get to it. Okay, the first thing I purchased is these dry erase stickers and I thought this was good for like a word wall or like just like the vocabulary of the week and I could just er erase it um I don't have to like keep stapling and trying to rearrange it right there I just erase it so I got actually I got three of these yeah I got three of these things I thought these were really cool and they were three dollars each okay so the next thing I got well, just these name tags and all these. I don't know about you all, but these things don't ever stay pretty. Um, but they're good for, you know, the beginning of the year and whatever I change the seating arrangement around. So just know that these, for me at least, these never stay pretty. They always get chipped at and pulled and rolled on. But I thought these were just so cute. And I have kind of like a black and white thing going on in my classroom. So, I thought that was cute. I was, it was between this one and they had like a um, a border that's more like composition. Like that, that black and white composition book look. So, I chose this one. The next thing I have is this clock right here. I um, thought this was so cool to show time, to teach them time. Um, it's like a puzzle piece. They can break this apart and have to put it in the correct numbers. And it shows them, you know, teaching them like the little vocabulary words, half past, um, o'clock. Then this has the shorthand and the big hand. I thought this was a really cute puzzle for the kiddos. Okay. The next thing I got was just this about me. I thought this is really cute. I, I already have my about me thing, but I mean, this is already printed up and it's super cute. Yeah. My favorite color is, my favorite book is, when I grow up, I want to be, it's just really cute, simple about me activity. Um, the next thing I have is this reward certificate. And I really, um, I really kind of, bought it so I can like kind of get an idea of what I want to do. I want to make a bigger one for the classroom. This is more individualized. Um, but if you can see basically when they put a sticker there they have they have some type of incentive there. So this would be a good 
whole classroom incentive. Like maybe a popsicle party, a lunch bunch, picnic, anything like that could be the incentive. I got my mini erasers. I only got three of them. Um, this one is the world. This is um, like a unicorn. Yes, a unicorn. And these are pieces. Alright. Um, the next thing I got is these stamps. These are really cool. Um, parent signature. Correct the return. Great work. You can do it. Much improved. I thought this was really good if just in case you want you want to send some work home that a child did or did not do. Let's be realistic. And you want that parent to sign because it's stamp it on there and I expect for them to return it to the next day. And this is just ink pads. Okay. Magnetic alphabet. I only got two of these, but I only see one, so it's fine. I already have kind of in those. Now this is what I thought was really cool right here. This thing right here. Um, it's a number, it's called a number spinner, it's three dollars. And I thought this would be so nice for an independent center. And they can just spin it around. They can say eight plus three, or there's different, there's multiplication, subtraction. I don't see the vision on here, but it's uh, multiplication, subtraction, and um, addition. And they can just, you know, create a solution right here. I thought this was a really cool tool to use. And I also got this one right here as well to use to help with their phonic skills and maybe some spelling. Um, especially when we talk about those SN. SN, they can make it to snow or um, SL, slow. Phonic skills, basically. You know, you guys know. Mm. I got this tool right here. I thought this was super cute. It has the little coins there and the little dollars. And then they even came with these little cards about the cost. And you could always make your own to add to it. But I thought this little this felt money was super cute. I got two of these. Um, I got these little storage bins. They're called flash card holders. I thought it would be good for my tasks. My task cards, um, I believe they're the ones that's going around. That's the ones from Michaels. Um, those are cool too, but hey, I believe these are cheaper and this will work fine for me. I got two of these for my task cards. They have these reward punch cards, which are cool for, um, I use these for small groups, you know, when they come see teacher lab, when they come see me, and um, they get a punch for following expectations and things like that. So that's a good I just got these for like notes because, you know, it's always a teacher that's out there helping you or doing something for you, and you just want to... You know, just let them know that you appreciate what they've done for you. So, I thought this is a cute little thank you card or note card and you can write specifically. It just says, the influence of a good teacher can never be erased. And the next thing is... This little prop kit, um, that's to be good for the first day of school. Possibly put this on a popsicle stick and they can take a picture, say I'm in first grade. Um, it says first day of school. These are all that's on it. First grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, last day of school, first day of school, I love school, first day of kindergarten. So these are cute for just photo opportunities for the first day of school. Oh, here got my other magnet. I told you I bought two. Checklist. It's a dollar. It's cute. 
And I'm almost done, guys. A magnetic box for the chalkboard. And I'll probably talk about this a little bit more about that chalk. Not chalkboard, whiteboard. My ideas for that. Um, I would look, look at these a couple of times, but I don't have a calendar. And I'm not really sure if I want a calendar, but I bought it <laughs> just in case um, I decide to actually do a calendar. This, I don't know. This seems like a lot of maintenance, and I'm not sure. Mm, let me know. Comment below if you think a, a calendar is really something that's needed nowadays. I mean, I guess it's needed, but... I'm not sure. In third and fourth grade, they need they really need the calendar. And I got this right here. This is a whiteboard poster, which is cool to just write down, you know, anything on the surface and erase. Just dry erase poster. That would be nice. And I was looking to show them how to um, write on a piece of paper, for example. Um, if you want them to write the title, where you want them to write their names at. Another visual item. And then the last item I got for myself and is just these cute pair of socks. And they were only a dollar. Alright guys, well that's it for the Target haul. Like I said, I also purchased things from Amazon and from Dollar Tree. Um, which I'll make that a separate video so it won't be so long. So, um, comment below if you have any suggestions or any things that you think I missed or I don't know <laughs> just anything any feedback all right guys so have a great summer enjoy the rest of your summer and we'll be getting back to the trenches in no time bye <laughs>